and we are set just finishing up putting the uh, trap tags on the 330s here it is February the 24th we have a mere five days to get some beaver trapping done but the water levels have finally seeded some and that's exactly what we're gonna do we're gonna run over to my buddy Dave's and try to get some beaver traps set and uh, see how the next five days go but um, weather has just not been conducive to beaver trapping this year but we're gonna give it heck and we're gonna try to catch some What's up, buddy? <laughs> of course, the first step to the process is checking for sign. We know there's some sign down here, but we're going to go try to find the best sign and make a game plan for that from there. And then we'll, we'll yeah, and then we'll come back. We'll come back up and uh, grab all the tools and the equipment and start setting tracks. Like a big muskrat run, that'd be a cat's meow for a conor bear. Beaver sign. Well, that's what concerns me a little bit tonight. Place made it to there and dropped it. But they had, you could see before we had the flood. Right. You could see where they were packing it in there. Right. Well, this is all packed in or washed in. It's stuff that they've cut. Right. Right. And sooner or later, they'll get that damned off across there. Yep. You can see how much higher this is. Well, no, no More beaver it. sign. There's quite a bit of sign down here. And this would appear to be from a large beaver, because that is off the ground easily three and a half feet. Easily. That's big beaver, y'all. So, what we've got is a bunch of fresh beaver sign, as a matter of fact. Um, as I mentioned, I think in some previous videos, and uh, possibly even in this one at the beginning, that we haven't been able to trap because the water levels have been high. And you can kind of tell it's been, it's pretty muddy down here in this bottoms. Um, but how do we know this is fresh beaver sign? Well, the chewings would float away when this was flooded. So. The water's been down for probably maybe a week, so you know these chewings are super fresh in the last week or so. And uh, it's time to set some traps. So we're headed back to the to the gator now to grab the gear. Um, and get to uh, we'll just take a few. Okay. Want the big ones or? Um, we'll take uh, one big one and then probably a couple of these, and we'll need. I guarantee you, you do not want to get any appendage or any part of your body caught in one of those bad boys. That's a mean machine right there. This is called a dive stick. Virtually they see this stick and they'll dive underneath it. Yep. And hopefully right into our trap. 
and we'll just kind of lay that right across the trap. Kind of like so. Obviously you don't want it to interfere with the trap, but you want it to say, hey, dive down here. And then we're just going to stick a couple more in here to try to get them to where they got to go out and around instead of taking a shortcut into the bank. I'll take a couple more, about the same thing. Normally, unless it's a 50 or 60 pound beaver, he'll be laying right here. Sure. No. Okay. Uh, so that basically what we've got here is this drainage. Nice, easy slope down to the river. And uh, it's a good travel corridor for these beavers, so that's what we're doing. We're setting a conna bear, a big boy, uh, and just kind of with the sticks and putting them over, trying to force the beaver to go under and into the conna bear instead of swimming around it or trying to go up, go up and over it. Um, we know that the beavers are traveling up and down through here. We've got some sign going up. It's an easy way for them to get up the bank, so... And there's all kinds of cut trees behind right. this little drainage that they've right. been going up and working. Right, right at the top of the drainage there's a bunch of cuttings and cut trees. So you know that they're going up, up and out of here uh, through this little drainage ditch. So, kind of bare set. You want the weight in the bag? Sure. Thank my, you. Hi ho, hi ho, across the river we go. Well, I got a nice slope bank where I can get my caster mound right in here, not too off where they're going to be able to smell it. And I've got deeper water out here that I can get my drowning rig in. I like up there right across from the den, but the water's so shallow I don't think I can get them drowned. And that's kind of the, the curse. Of... Ten. Yeah. But you also have to have enough to get it stanked up on the bank. You know what I mean? So yep. it's kind of a catch-22, I guess. Yep. Look. And as you can see, there's a little piece of metal on here that is kind of a one-way slide. Um, they, can, they can slide it down real easy, and when they go to bring it back up, it locks down, and that holds them in deep water, and they drown fairly quickly. So... And this is just a garage door cable. Really? Yeah. <laughs> and a couple of cable clamps and uh, that's it. And then I use a little quick link chain to uh, attach it to the trap. How much weight do you think you got to have out in the water? I would say at least five pounds. Okay. No matter how big it is, five pounds is going to get them pretty tired and they're going to go down. And I know a couple guys who use uh, sandbags and then they fill them with debris or whatever. When they get to the site where they aren't carrying all the weight, they got an empty sag bag they carry in. When they're done, they cut the sandbag, dump it out. And... Huh. See you later. And then there's a little opening here in the trap and that you can hook a quick link in and that's done. Obviously, tighten the quick link back down snug. And with rubber gloves on, it's... And I'm wearing rubber gloves just because I'm a wussy. And I don't like the cold water. You don't have to worry about the scent because it's going to be underwater. And I'm hoping if the stupid thing goes off my fingers, <laughs> <laughs> it'll give me a little protection. You hook it down underneath. I've never tried to set one on my leg before, but we're going to attempt it. Obviously, and there's look, there's kind of a hair trigger on these pans. I adjusted tension on them, and they're pretty light. So I don't know if that's the right way or the wrong way, but that's the way I've done it. That's Kenny's way. Well, that's the way I have done it. Okay, we're all set here, we're all set there. So now, 
roughly, I'd say 14, 16 inches off the bank, about the length of your arm, you'll want to make a bed for this trap. And then you got to make sure that you have enough cable to reach a bank. Okay, I'll take the stake, please. Okay, there's that, there's that. Now comes the bait. If you would, Josh. Yes, sir. I need two sticks, probably about eight inches long, maybe, you know, half, half size your finger. Um, if you can get fresh bark sticks or like beaver cuttings, it'll be better because they see that brightness and say, wait a minute, who's screwing around in my area? You want to give it a whiff? Should have like an almond smell almost. Yeah. Yeah, it's not terrible not nasty. Powerful. Nothing like the stuff I use for coyote and fox. Right. Huh. And you just put a little dab and huh. stick it behind your... It's an interesting smell. Yeah. Almond is all I can think of. It smells like when we're up moose hunting. Well, there's probably beaver around. Oh, there's plenty of beaver. <laughs> and the same thing, I, and I don't, I, don't, I don't know, but I'm just a little dab. And the same thing, stick it kind of behind your caster mound. The trap is like right here. And when he swims in here, puts his feet down, some guys will put I, what they call a bumper stick and you could lay a stick right across here that he hits with his chin uh -huh. and then he drops his feet. Huh. In fact, the thing that we didn't do is place our drowning rig. And virtually all you do with that is Just throw it out in deep water. And hopefully you come in in the morning you got a tight cable because that's what you're looking for. Okay. So. The water will clear and you'll be able to see the trap here shortly. Sure. Just the current will wash the water away and right. no big deal. Huh. All your scent is below water except for the scent that you want out is above water. Interesting. Yeah. That's, that's it. We are officially trapping beavers, y'all. Nice and easy back across the river we go. We're going to go downstream just a fuzz and uh, set some more of those caster mound sets. And if we find a spot, we may set another con of bear, but um, just ease across the river and go set some more traps. All right, we officially have five beaver traps in and around the water. So, the rules in Ohio are you gotta check them every day. We'll be back here tomorrow morning to see if we hit pay dirt or not. With five days left to go, I'm feeling actually pretty good about it. There's a, just a ton of fresh sign here that is uh, definitely in the last week. And uh, in the meantime, we're going to go check out, at least look at another spot that may have some beaver sign, may have some otter sign, um, and have a look-see. But pretty cool process. Now we just cross our fingers and hope that we can catch a couple. Pretty cool. We're down at a, a uh, new spot. You ain't gonna go down too far, you mean. Right. We're down at a new spot, and uh, they've got this little hutch off this wetlands area. And uh, we're looking to try to figure out if we can see how to set it. Dave's been down here a couple of times and, and looked, and uh, just noticed that they got the top of it opened up. You can see down in there. That's kind of neat. That's what I think. Josh, you're going in deep. Get deep. 
Have you touched bottom? Yeah. Okay, good. Try to find the center of the run, obviously. You want them gloves, Josh? No, not right now, anyway. Well, maybe I will want them. And I never know which way to set it. Yeah, Josh putting the surgical gloves on. Going in deep. You know what I mean? Do you set it with the trigger that way or do you set it the other way? You don't know how much that matters. No wire to the tree? Yeah. Yep. Yep, good idea. someplace. Fingers clear. Mm -hmm. Okay. I would get this out of the way. Yep. Like I say, it's live. Just remember that. Yep. Pull that spring on your right hand up vertical, all the way up, so it's not hitting shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. There you go. I would She's grab that down. chain. and a twist. Morning, dude. Morning. Morning, young man. How are you doing today? <laughs> Good. Just arrived on scene here at my buddy Dave's house. We are going to go check our traps got them in for the first uh, first night uh, yesterday and hopefully we have some beavers and maybe an otter waiting on us so here we go we did get a little bit of rain last night so we're going to uh, have to see what we find might be a little bit of muddy water that we have to deal with and won't be able to necessarily see if we caught anything may have to uh, yeah. get in that water and feel Last trap at this spot, no luck today, but that's okay. We did some resets because the water got deep around our uh, 750s, which are big boys, which <laughs> I puckered up a little bit. I'm not going to lie because that one about got me. It about got me. So on to the next spot. No luck here at the first couple resets, and we'll see what's waiting us, waiting for us down the road. Don't know how well y'all can see that, but uh, we are at our last set of the day, and we've had some activity. Um, just the water levels came up, and they swam around them, so on and so forth. But we are at the last set, and we've got otter tracks. That's pretty awesome. Um, rules this year, I think this is the first year for Northwest Ohio, for the county that we're in, that you can catch one otter. So um, we have couple of us here with tags but we can catch one otter unfortunately we did not catch one last night so anyways we don't know that you haven't checked the trap that's true that's true I've, i have not been down in there to check the trap but we're, we're thinking we're gonna have to bump it up because again the water levels are up a good four or five inches so that's a foot maybe even a foot ken says so we'll just have to uh adjust and hope that the next couple days we can nab one of these fellers <laughs> 